came back from getting a wheel alignment. And yeah, it's all good now. So now we've just got to change the steering wheel over. Because this one's pretty much had it. Um, when you're doing these type of steering wheels, especially with airbags, well, mainly with airbag steering wheels, you want to take, you want to pretty much unplug the battery. Because um, you don't want one of these airbags to go off because you won't have a good time with it, if it does. But um, yeah, let's get stuck into it. So, you want these security bits, pretty sure they've got them on for all cars, just got to remember, I think it's 45, <laughs> way smaller than that, yep. so for M35s, they are T30s. First of all, you want to make sure that there's no power. Nope, nothing. There's a bolt pretty much on either side of the steering wheel which holds the center part in. So at the back here, clock spring, we'll do that, that undoes the centre part, um, you want to undo the horn earth, which goes to the clock spring. It's a, I'm going to go with a 19mm, I think, 19mm socket. Yep. go. So you don't want to do it too far back. Just want to get it loose. There you go. 
go, it's loose. Steering wheels out. Uh, I'll go get the replacement. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the steering wheel is pretty much centered. Because then you have a Awkward wheel. That's oh, pretty good. At that. Mm. Clicks in. Lift up the horn. Do this back up. You want to do it fairly tight. Uh, grab the wheel. Do it as tight as you can. Like so. Connect the airbag right up. Now I don't know if some, I don't know if all cars have these exact same plugs or it's just M35s, but these are easily to easy to break pretty much. I've already broken one in the white one, in the white stager, which luckily I've got a replacement from Osaka Imports, where I mainly get all, pretty much get all my parts from for these cars. But, um, yeah, try not to break these because you're pretty much up for another clock spring if you do. So you just plug it back in. Put your security screws back in. Whereas these ones are still got the holes in. Now on each side of the steering wheel they've pretty much got these little circle things covering them. So you just gotta remove those to access the security screws. And also you do not want to go over tightening these either. I've heard that people have over tightened them and completely stripped them and they end up either having to find new screws or getting a whole new center steering wheel altogether which is pretty much this thing
this slightly. some reason and I do not know what that is. what we'll do switch switch them over Okay. So give it single hand tightness don't do both don't tighten it up with both hands because it's pretty much just over killing it It's all good. So, if you're after some security but security sockets, pretty much look like these with the circles in the middle. Um, I got these from Repco, and yeah, they've been doing me well ever since. I think they're about twenty to thirty. Oh, I think they're under fifty dollars for the set. But yeah, alright, it's all good, a little bit of a clean, I can, but, yeah. so, um, I think we're up to the, so when I, when I, when we got back from the, well when I was at the wheel alignment place, um, there was a bit of, tightness still in the power steering so I think we have to do the power steering pump next which is going to be kind of interesting because it's in a real tight spot right under, right under the driver's side cylinder head and um, yeah that will be hopefully in the next video but, um, yeah. Alright, guys. Have a good one. And, um, make sure to like and subscribe. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. See yous.